in this video i teach you factor affecting the performance of simple vapor compression refrigeration systems okay the in this video i teach you how to write the refrigerating effect is reduced work done is increase or reduce how the cop is reduce or increase what's the mass product is increase or reduce by simple method or by using this ph diagrams now there is a different methods to that affect the cop of the systems that is a suction of superheat liquid or cooling change in suction pressure change in delivery pressure now we starting first from the effect of liquid sub cooling now this is the basic ph diagram for the vcrs system okay now this is a one to two process is the compression process so how to find out the compressor work that is h2 minus h1 okay if this distance is increased between the h2 and h1 then work done is increased if the distance between the h2 and h1 is reduced then work done is reduced and 2 to 3 indicate the heat rejections by the condenser that is a h2 minus a3 suppose the distance between h2 minus a3 is reduced then heat rejection is reduced if the distance between h2 and h3 is increased then the heat rejection is increased and it is the a3 minus s for expansion process so it is not important for writing down the factor affecting to the performance of the system and the next is the refrigerating effect it is h1 minus h4 if this one point and four point come nearest to each other then the refrigerating effect is reduced and if the length is increased for this refrigeration process then the cop is increased now first matter is to affect of liquid subcooling now what is the meaning of subcooling the reduce the temperature of the liquid refrigerant coming out from the condenser so it is a point number three is the outlet of the condenser so after that point number three we further reduce the temperature of the liquid refrigerants by using the sub cooler or by increasing the water flow rate into the condenser okay so when we reduce these temperatures then this heat rejection line is increased further okay and we get here the three dash points then after we follow the expansion process so it is the expansion process and it is the four dash points and this refrigerating effect line is increased from 4 days to 1 instance of 4 to 1 okay so by using this diagram we are writing the 4 factor which 4 factor refrigerating effect work done cop and heat rejections now first point is the refrigerating effect so in the earlier case without using the sub cooler our refrigerating effect is h1 minus h4 okay and it is a smaller land now by installing the sub cooler our land is increase of uh, 4 days to 1 okay so how amount of the land is increased 4 days to 4 that means refrigerating effect is increased because when we do the h1 minus h4 that is in simple case when we install the sub cooler we get the h1 minus h4 days then the answer is lar larger that means refrigerating effect is increased second point is the work done so there is a no change in the work done that is a h2 minus h1 in simple case when we install sub cooling it is also same okay that is means no change in the work done then what is the change in the cop the cop of the system is increased because its definition is refrigerating effect upon work done then refrigerating effect is increased work done is same then the cop of the system is increased and what about the heat rejection qr is heat rejection in the condenser so here we install the new device that is a sub cooler that's why the heat rejection in the condenser is same now in this case we not install the sub cooler and we increase the just mass flow rate of the water in the condensers then we tell that the qr is increased okay but when we install the new device sub cooler then it is the constant for the condensers so suppose we talking about the heat rejection then we require the higher so it's not equal but it is an higher okay so by using this technique we simply write down this factor in exam then you get the perfect mark then next if you learn something then subscribe my channel and like the video now next matter is the suction superheat now suction superheat means suction is done at the inlet of the compressor and superheat means increase the temperature about a saturation temperature so it is a point number one that is the inlet of the compressor so this point is indicated it is the saturated vapor is supplied into the compressor now we modified that it is a 
vapor is superheat the inlet of the point number 1 in the compressor it is come into the superheated region means point is come here that is a one dash okay from this one dash point we do the compression so it is a new line of the compression is takes place and it is a two dash points and this amount of the heat rejection is increased into this condensers okay so for the superheat we put the point number 1 into the superheat regions now if you don't know various lines on the ph diagram what this line is indicate what the dome is indicate then watch the basic various lines on the ph diagram then link is provided on this top right screen where from the eye symbol you can see the ph diagram various lines then you easily understand the how to draw various lines and various point to how to put various points okay so now for that we writing what's the change in refrigerating effect so this refrigerating effect is increased because in earlier case it is a 1 minus 4 h1 minus h4 now its slant is increased and refrigerating effect is increased what is in work done so work done is also increased because it's come into the superheated region and its specific volume is also increased so high mass flow rate is required so work done is increased now what is the change in the cop cop is refrigerating effect upon work done so refrigerating effect is increased work done is increased then cop may be increased reduced or equal depending upon the pressure range of the refrigerants or for the different refrigerant is different is takes place suppose we use the r12 then the cop is increased suppose we use the r22 and na3 then it may be reduced so depending upon the refrigerants and the pressure range it may be increased reduced or constant what is the heat rejection in the condenser so in earlier case line is smaller that is h2 minus h3 and then after doing the superheating length is increased for the s2 dash to a3 that means heat rejection in the condenser is increase if you learn something then subscribe channel like the video now next matter is the effect of suction pressure effect of suction pressure means the suction pressure inside the compressor is reduced so point number one is our suction pressure and its pressure is reduced then what we do either increase or reduce but what we consider that the pressure is reduced suction pressure so this line is moving downward side okay so this is a new line of the reducing the suction pressure so it is a new point that is the h4 dash and is h1 dash okay then the suction pressure is reduced then one num h1 enthalpy is reduced because the point is moving downward side due to the shape of the saturation curve so point num h1 dash is value is reduced compared to the h1 from this point h1 dash we follow the constant entropy line and we getting this two dash points so again this line is added here in the heat rejection so heat rejection is condenser is increased and the refrigerating effect is reduced because the point number one is moving left sides then the line is reduced from instance of h1 minus h4 it is h1 dash minus h4 dash it is a smaller line that means refrigerating effect is reduced and the work done is increased because h2 minus h1 is less than the h2 dash minus h1 dash then point number one and one dash so point number one dash is move left side that means value is reduced value is reduced of the one point then the difference is increased so for the suction of pressure refrigerating effect is reduced so you check that the h1 is point is here and h1 dash is moving inside the h4 and h4 dash is constant so value of the h1 dash is reduced then refrigerating effect is reduced next work done is increased because h1 dash point is moving the left side and its value is reduced then difference is increased and h2 point is h2 dash is also increased so work done is increased so cop is equal to refrigerating effect upon work done so cop is reduced and the heat rejection is increased because we adding this h2 minus h1 dash quantity of the heat is increased so by using this effect of suction pressures the cop is reduced so it is not useful to us to increase the cop of the system if you learn then subscribe the channel now next is effect of delivery pressure effect of delivery pressure means this p2 pressure is increased now when do we increase this delivery pressure means condenser pressure then line is moving upper sides okay then line is moving upper side then it is point is come the h2 dash and here the instant of 3 it is a h3 dash 
so we know the we draw the new compression line that is a h2 1 to 2 dash so what that happen the 2 dash point is moving the right side or its value is increased and one point is on same sides so work done is increased because the h2 minus h1 is less than the h2 dash minus h1 then we follow the heat rejection line into the condenser that is a 3 dash point so from the 3 dash point again the expansion is takes place then the refrigerating effect is reduced the first in simple case it is the h1 minus h4 now it is a h1 minus h4 dash so line is reduced and refrigerating effect is reduced so we writing the four point delivery pressure for delivery pressure refrigerating effect is reduced so in the simple case the h1 minus h4 is larger line now in the new case by changing the delivery pressure the length is reduced for h1 minus h4 dash that means refrigerating effect is reduced second point is the work done so in simple case work done is h2 minus h1 now by changing in delivery pressure the it is a h2 dash minus 1 so value of h2 dash is increased from the h2 then work done supplied to the compressor is increased by using these two parameter we write down the cop the cop is equal to refrigerating effect upon work done refrigerating effect is reduced work done is increased then cop is reduced so again it is not useful for increasing this performance of the system heat rejection is also increased because in that higher region that is a high mass flow rate so high mass flow rate means the higher energy so it's required more amount of the air or the water for cooling so that's why the refrigerating effect is increased thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channels and share with your friend